At CTP, we constantly want to minimize the downtime of your machine so it can be more efficient. For this reason, we continue creating kits that will reduce the time it will take to repair your engine. This is the goal of the connecting rod kits. They come fully assembled and ready to install in your machine, complete with the piston, piston rings, connecting rod, liner, and even the liner seals. Next, we will show you how our fully certified diesel mechanics prepare, install, and package our Conrod kits. First, we make sure the pistons are free of debris and then proceed to the installation of the piston ring. Please refer to our piston ring assembly video to see the proper installation of the piston rings. Once the rings are in place, we proceed to install one retainer at one end of the piston. This will hold the pin in place once we assemble it with the connecting rod. It is important to point out that each step needs to be carefully done in accordance with the manufacturer's service manual to ensure proper functioning of the parts. For the retainers, we make sure the retainer ends are properly positioned towards the base of the piston with a threshold tolerance of 15 degrees. In this kit, the exhaust valve escape indentation on the piston head needs to be facing the marking on the connecting rod. The connecting rod needs to be facing a particular way. For the specific position of the connecting rod and piston, we always follow the manufacturer's service manual. Before we install the connecting rod and piston inside the liner, we must make sure the liner is properly lubricated so the piston will slide inside. The proper tool to keep the rings in place should be used so that we do not damage the rings during the installation procedure. Once the connecting rod is fully assembled, we package it with a protective cover. The box is designed to carefully store and secure the connecting rod to avoid any movement or damage during transportation.